Hello, my name is Ramona Tauber. I'm the legislative clerk for the fourth legislature, the Cheyenne Arapaho Tribes. The legislature was set up by the Constitution, uh, passed in 2006, to make laws for the tribes. Uh, we are going to see highlights of the 21st regular session, which was held on the second Saturday of September, which was September 14th. These meetings are held every month. Um, please attend. We also have public hearings several times a month, and uh, we need input and feedback from tribal members on these bills that were passed. What were passed were three bills. The first is an act to require gaming revenue transfer. It was passed by a vote of three yes, five absent. And this was to set a deadline of the 21st of every month for gaming revenues to be transferred from the casinos to the tribes. The second bill to pass was an act establishing a Cheyenne and Arapaho Community Development Department. This is to set up a department that deals with the infrastructure of the tribes. This was passed by a vote of four yes, four absent. The last bill to pass was to amend the 2013 budget, and this is regarding renovations that are being made to the El Reno Clinic uh, that was destroyed by the tornado in 2013. This was passed by a vote of four yes, four absent. And now here are highlights from the regular session of September 14th. Thank you. Nine fifteen. I call this regular legislative session to order. We're here at the Shine Rampo NAC building at Concho, Oklahoma. Today is Saturday, September 14th, 2013. Okay, roll call. Bruce Whiteman? Here. Clifton Ellis, absent. Cheever Superbirds? Here. Fiona White Skunt, absent. Jay Nightwalker, absent. Michael Codaseat, absent. Patrick Spotted Wolf? Here. Winslow Sankey, absent. Okay, we'll go to the next item on the agenda. It's an act to require gaming revenue transfer. Do I hear a motion? Make a motion to bring to the table. Motion been made by Cheever Superbirds to bring to the table. Do I hear a second? I second. Seconded by Bruce. Discussion? This one is behind the blue tab in your notebook. An act to require gaming revenue transfer. And we discussed it at a public hearing. It was pretty early in the month. And John can answer any questions if you've got any. My question was yesterday was um, should we name <coughs> casinos. I think we should. We'll make an amendment to all, right. all four casinos. <laughs> if the name of the, if the uh, Pancho, Pancho Lucky Star, Clinton Lucky Star. Now, what are those other two called? Are they Lucky Stars yet? Feather Warriors. They're Feather Warriors. Warriors. Um, if we leave it as is, would that constitute all of the casinos, all of our own casinos, or? The, the way where that's dealt with is on near the top of page two, where the gaming operation is is uh, defined, and and so everybody that it says everybody that's licensed by the gaming commission. I think if we list casinos individually, there could be additional casinos open that are not on here. Right. And they would be excluded unless we went in to amend it, but we don't yeah. know if it would be passed. Is that? They're going to open that um, travel. Well, and the travel plaza is going to be another one. That I don't know if that'll happen. We we could add a add a clarification <laughs> sentence just to hammer it home. Uh, at at the end of that paragraph two, add uh, this includes but not limited to Lucky Star, Feather Warrior, um, and and any other gaming facility to be opened in the future. We're thinking of Hammond as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that would cover it. I think that would cover it. That we want to add a third sentence like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's consistent. So, what is there? Concho Lucky Star, um, Clinton Lucky Star. <laughs> well, do you want to fix it before we vote on it, or? Uh, yeah, I'm just writing it out real quick so I can read it. To amend it. Yeah, motion to amend, and I'll I'll read it to you here in a minute. Uh, where is it? Watonga Feather Warrior. Canton Feather Warrior. I have a question. Right. Has um, Brian I mean, seen this? No, uh, this went to um, Alvin Deer, though. Yeah. No. Okay, and um, in the past, when first, um, I think it was about a year ago, 
Brian asked us to see if we could change it to the 25th. Do you remember that? I remember he, he was saying that, but they did not respond. I mean, but I mean, anything. I, I remember him saying something like as to the as to that. Can't remember the exact date she said, but it's in the ordinances. It's in the gaming ordinances that they have their transfer. Everything done by the twentieth. One one thing about this bill, there, there's no penalty in it. There, there's the section two net revenue transfer it says transfer the money, you know, in three. But there's there's no there's no punishment if it's not done. So this are, is. Are you talking? This is a general reminder. General reminder, yeah. It's an yes. aspirational well, bill. Well, we just put on or about. <laughs> I think it needs to Special say the line. same thing as the, the, the gaming ordinance should say the 20th, not on or about, should say the 20th. I'm pretty sure it was the 20th. It's been a while. Yeah. And uh, we can check the gaming ordinance, but uh, it's this uh, probably in compliance with it. But if it's not, we can amend it later. But well, Alvin Deere has reviewed this, and, and Frank Boswell also, in, in their yeah. agreement yeah. that this what needs to be done. They're the ones that. As for the money, so, so we're going to amend it, put the names in there first, right? Right. Let, let me read, let me uh, suggest an amendment, and one of you can make a motion to, to uh, adopt it. So I'd say this, uh, add after at the end of the gaming operation definition, paragraph two, a new sentence to read, this includes but is not limited to Concho Lucky Star, Clinton Lucky Star, Watonga Feather Warrior, and Canton Feather Warrior Casinos, comma, and any additional gaming operations opened in the future. Here, I so move as red. I so move as red. I so move as red. Okay. Jeeves um, makes a motion on um, on an appeal on the, <coughs> the appeal to be made as read by the attorney. Do I hear a second? I second. Second it by Bruce. Uh, all in favor, signify by aye. Aye. No opposition. Amendments passed. We will now go to the main motion. Make a motion to call for the vote. Motion be made to call for the vote for the main motion to enact the required gaming all gaming revenues to be for transfer on the twentieth day of the month. I second that motion. Motion be made by Cheevers, seconded by Bruce. Call for the vote. Bruce Whiteman? Yes. Cheevers, Eagleberg? Yes. Patrick Spottable? Yes. It's passed by vote of three yes, five absent. Go to the next item on the agenda is an act establishing a Cheyenne and Arapahoe Community Development Department. Make a motion to bring to the table. Motion be made by Cheevers to bring to the table. Do I hear a second? Second by Winslow. Discussion? Melvin Romanos is here, and this is in your your binder after the second orange tab. And Melvin had asked for one change to be made to that. <clears throat> From when we first talked about it in the public hearing, talking about the projects, so that's been taken out. It's not in here. And here's another change that he asked to be made on the front page of that. Um, section two, finding C. He had asked to have additional language in there. It says, a new department is necessary to focus on public works facilities and direct serve facilities. Is that right, Melvin? Yes, and emergency service buildings, such as Fire, uh, fire stations, uh, uh, police stations, uh, uh, EMS, and uh, maybe uh, emergency management. You know, it, that's what I'm getting at, you know, to develop buildings like that. You know, uh, it just leave it open, that's what I'm saying. It's for. What, uh, what was at the uh, conference this past? up there at uh, Tulsa. Uh, in that, uh, what do you call it, that uh, tax 
tax credit thing? Yeah, tax credit financing. If we leveled every, all these old houses here, we could come back with, under that program and build some more houses, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Under that forward. program. Yeah. But uh, as far as your suggestion, the, the term public works yeah. is, is one of the broadest terms there is. And, and all, the, all the facilities you mentioned are clearly public works. Right. And the, the, the trouble that when you start listing some things, uh, then you start excluding other things. And, and so if, when you start listing, if you use a general term, it covers everything. If you start listing things and you left something off the list, then uh, somebody's going to say, well, that, that's not on the list, you know, and you can only do what's on the list. So well, what's the general term? Public works. Public yeah. Uh, and direct yeah. serve facilities. Uh, EMS buildings, all of that, what you mentioned, are all public works. Anything that serves the public. You're right. The only reason I bring it up is because, you know, when they start talking about housing, they need to start talking about police stations, fire stations, and all these other stuff, too, that needs to go in there besides just housing. Because right now, you know, we really don't have that out here at Concho. We need, you know, we need fire stations. We need uh, people that want to move out here. They want to feel safe. They want to uh, have, you know, <laughs> be able to use services out here. That's what I'm getting at. Right. And you is know. a police office, police station, fire station, is that not a public building? It is, but only, like I said, the only reason I brought it up so they wouldn't forget about it. I know you're, you're saying the opposite, but I'm saying the opposite too. You're saying it covers one area. You're right, it we does. Come up, uh, let me, let's, let's say let's pass it as it is. And, and if you want to come up a list with everything that you think you'll ever build, then we can amend it to add that list. I don't know if I ever build it. I just don't want to. You don't want it to be excluded or anything, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Well, like he said, public works. Yeah, that's fine. It covers that's everything. Yeah, that's fine with me too. Okay. It'll be fine later. Yeah. I mean, as it comes along. Yeah. That'll work. As long as we don't forget about a lot of other facilities that go into. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, I think we need it in order to uh, start looking at making some development out here in this, on this campus here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got here a motion. Make a motion to amend. Second. Mo motion be made to amend by Cheevers, seconded by Bruce. What's the amendment? Right. Add I public think. works. Well, no, it's all there. We had talked about adding the any meeting. emergency service buildings, but we don't really need to add it because it's covered by the term public works facilities. It's all right. The way it's right. 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 Which covers everything that Melvin was talking about. Oh, let's see. Okay, I'll pull my motion from the table. <laughs> it was this one right here to eliminate. Right, and that's been eliminated. Okay. Right. No. And, and, and actually, uh, this is just findings. In, in the findings, that, that doesn't, it's not any kind of binding law there. Right. And so a lot of these are capital projects. The department will be funded, but then when there's a particular capital project, like the, the water, uh, water treatment system we approved the other day, uh, you know, we'll approve specific capital improvement projects. Okay. Uh, so we just pass as is? Yeah, sure you could. Yeah. Was there anything else? Well, I hear a motion for a vote. Make a motion call for a vote. Um, excuse motion. me, just a second. Melvin, I think we'd like to share his budget, even though it's not part of this and it's not required to be a part of this. And actually, we do need to do a um, amend the 2013 budget to have this money come from tax commission. And I think this is his only <coughs> copy here. Yeah, that was the only one I can. <sighs> and he's asking for just a little under 400000 394 450 if you pass that on down. Actually, Melvin, I think that needs to be changed. It should just be for 2013 because it needs to be used beginning this year, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we shouldn't save from tax. I think we should just save from the treasurer because hopefully we're going to get all that money put under the tribe like it's supposed to be, you know. 
Because because really it, the the treasurer needs the flexibility to to pay it out of gaming funds or motor fuel funds or whatever unrestricted funds we have. And and actually it, uh, some of your projects you may get grants uh, or, or other money to do things out, outside of tax emission funds. And and so the treasurer needs to be flexible enough to take money from wherever is appropriate and and, and fund the pro the project. So it is better, like Patrick said and suggested, that uh, we just say that from the tribal funds. And does tax commission come before us and say, I don't want to have, you know, deep pockets or do we have, is there a limit we can? Yeah. In an ideal world, we'd, we would look at the budget and is there this much money available, you to, know. To obligate for this to department. To obligate, but we don't, we don't have a financial statement to know so that. here and say, you know, let's just take, take it from the tax commission. Take you know, that's all we, it's like a... Yeah. Sooner or later, tax commission might run out of money. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's the way it seems like. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll just keep it, say, general fund. I mean, you know. Right, and that's on a, the last page, page three. Not the last page, but on page three under funding. It says, this department will be funded in the annual budget from tribal funds and federal funds when available, authorized and appropriated. T was pulled his amendment, so this time we we'll go for the, the uh, main motion. Make a motion to call for the vote. Motion be made to call for the vote by Cheevers. Do I hear a second? Second. Seconded by Bruce. Call for the vote to, uh, for the Community Development Department Act. Bruce Whiteman? Yes. Cheevers Superbirds? Yes. Patrick Spottedwolf? Yes. Winslow Sankey? Yes. It passes by a vote of four yes, four absent. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the, okay, we're back to the budget, the 2013 budget. This one is the, uh, under the last tab in your notebook, the yellow tab. This is to amend the 2013 budget to fund remodeling and upgrade of the El Reno Clinic. Okay, motion to the table. Motion made by Chivas to bring to the table the amend of the 2013 budget. Do I hear a second? I second. Seconded by Bruce. Discussion. <coughs> All right. This is um. This is going to be known as um to amend the budget. Uh, but and budget modification four. So this is for the Arvino Indian Clinic. This is the amount. No. This is the amount for the. The remodel for the uh, IHS. That's that's the estimated maximum. Uh, yeah, and she, uh, they wanted to include, <clears throat> oh, they wanted to include roofing and air conditioning, and that's going to increase that cost, and that's why I was, uh, I don't know, I, it could be as much as half a million, that's what I'm saying. What's wrong, have you looked at the one that's currently there, the roof? I mean, are we replacing the whole roof? Are we replacing the whole air conditioner? Or are we just... I don't know yet. See, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Uh, it's this 450. Could go as high as half a million, you know, once we determine. Uh, so this is just setting the maximum amount that could be used, is that right? Yeah, so that's why I didn't... I realized that we discussed this and I'm eating the IHS the other day. Um, I almost was sure that they marked down that even that estimation. You all remember that? So, and, but it wasn't included in that. Uh, last Friday at, at the oh, clinic. We had a meeting with yeah. them. Uh, yeah, we could go Friday. Right. right. Yeah. She she suggested that four hundred fifty thousand would be the, the 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 most for for the interior remodeling, and and the little the patch ups on the exterior. Uh, the, whether it needs a roof or not, and whether it needs new air conditioning or not, is, isn't going to slow down the the opening. And, and I'd say we, if 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 we get if we need that, we need to get some estimates of that and make another budget appropriation. If if in fact it won't fall in this 450 thousand, but the the purpose of this is is to get the remodeling done to get it open. And uh, as far as we know, the roof's not leaking. No. Um, it, it did. The, there was an insurance adjuster out there looking at it after the tornado and hailstorm that came through 
and so it may well the roof may well be replaced by insurance it was repaired it's a flat uh, flat roof um, and that was repaired by the insurance company okay but uh the roof is at the end of its life cycle so is the air conditioning and heating they're at the end of their life cycles that's why they wanted to include it into the renovation of the uh, clinic. Engineer is saying that. IHS is saying that. And they've been there since 50, over 15 years. Okay, so you're saying that it would be another half a million added on to this 450? No. no. Huh. Or just the total? Uh, you see, uh, I don't know how much the roof is going to cost. I don't know how much the air conditioning is going to cost. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at 450000 just to renovate the interior. And this is bare bones. And so the tribe said, well, let's look into putting a new roof and changing out the air conditioning heating system. So I don't know how much that's going to cost. You know? on, on Tuesday, the, the HVAC engineer is going to come visit with us, and he may give us, be able to give us a ballpark idea of how much it costs to replace the air conditioning system. I think in order to get things rolling, we ought to go ahead and pass this, and we can always come back and amend it, right. amend it you know. Or appropriate more money. Yeah. Okay, at this time we'll um, amend the um, budget. We will amend the uh, wording in the amendment to read in on the second page two or three pages, second page, A, after where it says qualify it for leasing by the, where it says HIS, we will, it will be changed to IHS. Do I hear a second on that? Second. Second. Seconded by Bruce. All in favor of this amendment, signify by the same. Aye. 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 Any opposition? Same. No opposition. Amendment has been made to change the spelling of HIS to IHS. We go back to the main motion now. Make a motion, call for the vote. The okay, motion we made to call for the vote to changing, to amending the uh, 2013 annual budget for four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Do I have a second on it? A second. Seconded by Bruce. Call for the vote. Bruce Whiteman. Yes. Cheever Sickleberts. Yes. Patrick Spottedwolf. Yes. Winslow Sankey. Yes. It passes by vote of four yes, four absent. Okay, okay, we are we are at the end of our uh, agenda. Uh, the new bills to introduce for the regular October session are a resolution approving MOA with IHS. Another one is an act to establish the emergency management department. And I know we'll probably be having some more coming up to be formally uh, put on the agendas. So do we have any more remarks? Uh, by the way, the, the deadline for new bills to be introduced for the October session has, it, that was on Thursday this week, so these are the only two that were only introduced. Only two, okay. Right. Well, we, we still got a lot of tables yeah. that, that we can bring up. Uh, there are more, anyone, any other remarks? I have something to discuss, but we need to. Was there, are you trying to say something a while ago? About oh, Roman oh yeah. What I was trying to ask you is, I'd like to know what, how that workshop went in Tulsa last this last week. I, I, I couldn't attend. I had too much. Oh, the the housing. Yeah. The, it, it it went real good, real good. They had a lot of good information on uh, uh, tax credit. The one that impressed me was the the tax credit uh, thing. You know, and I I thought we already had it. Do we have it? 
We don't. Yeah, we need yeah. to address it. No, yeah. we, we have an application in. Do we? And, okay. And it's been submitted two or three times. And, it just hasn't been and you know, I've, I asked about, you know, one of my ideas was that we uh, we go for it, you know, try to get that and go out there, it, under the housing authority, go out there and renovate some houses and make a new contract with some of these people, you know. I mean, they said we can make those houses almost brand new, you know, and go back and make a contract to work. Hopefully they'll pay for it, you know. I mean, you know, they'll start paying it, you know. That's one way of, I was thinking about maybe getting them to start paying, you know. I mean, that, that, that's one of the problems that housing for is having now. Okay, any more remarks? Okay, it is now 1025, the session is adjourned.